many a times in our walk with God, we declare that we have faith. We confess our faith. We confess a strong belief that with God all things are possible. But I want to tell you that faith, your faith life will always be tested. You are always going to be exposed for who you really are on the inside. In James chapter 1 verse 3 in the message version it says, You know that under pressure your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true colors. Under pressure your faith, who you really are, what you really believe on the inside is going to be exposed. And many a times when we are put under pressure, when tests and trials come our way, we begin to grumble and complain. We begin to get bitter. We begin to get angry. We need to understand that faith is going to be tested. You are going to be put into that fire. You are going to be put under various tests and trials, not to destroy you, but to show you who you really are and what you need to work on, how much you need to depend on God. When we look into the life of Abraham, God had promised Abraham that he would have a seed, that he would have his own son. We know that son was Isaac. But when you look into that journey to see that word fulfilled, to see what God spoke fulfilled, nearly 25 years, Abraham struggled with his faith. He struggled. He constantly questioned. He constantly asked God. He constantly pondered from whom or whether it would really come to pass. But we see constantly God reminding him that what he had spoken would come to pass. I want to tell you, your faith is going to be tested. You are going to be put into fire. But remember, it is not to destroy you, but it is always to show you who you really are, what you are on the inside, so that you can work upon your walk with God, so that you can know for, know for sure that it is entirely God and God alone who does the things that he does, that it is not based on your works, but it is entirely dependent and relying on the ability of God. When we look at the people of Israel, when they were put into their test, they were taken through the wilderness. You see, when they saw God work amazing things in Egypt, they were taken out to be led to the promised land. But in that entire journey, we see them tested at different times. Why were they tested? So that they would be exposed for who they are, so that they would begin to look to God and depend on God. But they rebelled against God. They rebelled. They, they did things that were contrary to what God wanted them to do. They chose to believe in what they saw rather than believe in what God spoke. I want to tell you in your hard times, you will always be placed with a choice to believe what you see or to still hold on to what God has spoken. What you see is going to be deceiving because it is temporary. It may seem that your situation is weak. What you hear from God may seem impossible, but as you keep holding on to it, you will begin to see it come to pass. Abraham believed God. Every time he stumbled, God kept speaking to him and he kept believing, holding on to what God had spoken. And we see what God spoke come to pass. I want to tell you, your faith is going to be tested. You are going to go through hard times. You are going to face trials and tests. But it is not to destroy you, but for you to realize how weak you are and how much you need to turn back to God, depend on God, and trust entirely in His ability. God bless you.